It was here in the arid northeast of Brazil that Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva enjoyed strong support as president with his social programs that helped alleviate poverty. His imprisonment earlier this year for corruption as part of the huge car wash scandal has left many voters disillusioned with their politicians and cynical about the political process. There is no confidence in the electoral process. Brazilians don't trust politicians, especially with all these corruption probes. I don't see anyone talking about the elections. Lula, as he's popularly known, is still ahead in the opinion polls. His supporters believe he's innocent. In a country struggling to emerge from recession, they remember that between 2003 and 2010, he oversaw a booming economy, and they believe he can save them again. É Lula. Lula. There is no other option. It's Lula, Lula, Lula. He's a political prisoner. He wasn't condemned. There is no proof against him, and he was arrested. It's unlikely, however, that Lula will be able to stand. His absence has created a political void. It's never been easy to represent a country so huge, so ethnically diverse, so rich and yet so poor. But rarely have Brazil's politicians, involved in a huge corruption scandal, often hiding in distant Brasilia, been so unrepresentative of the Brazilian electorate. Tapping into that disillusionment is the anti-establishment right-wing military man Jair Bolsonaro. His support is growing, especially in centres far from Brasilia and the wealth of Sao Paulo and Rio. When we talk about candidates, we are on hold. People in general don't trust any of the candidates. However, I have kind of decided my candidate. It's going to be Bolsonaro. However, opinion polls suggest that more than half the Brazilian electorate don't know who to vote for or don't like any of the choices on offer and won't cast a ballot, despite voting being obligatory. I think Brazil is heading towards complete chaos. That is my impression. Politicians are not governing. It's a complete mess. Those same politicians are now faced with the challenge of convincing a disparate electorate in a country of more than 200 million inhabitants that they have the solutions to Brazil's many problems. Daniel Schweimler, Al Jazeera, Brasilia.